Have you ever wondered what it'd be like to be a landlord to build an empire of properties across the city? Well, welcome to The Tenants, a new early access game from Ancient Forge Studio. It's currently $19.99 on Steam. I'll leave a link in the description below if this looks like a game that will tickle your fancy. But for now, let's just take a deep dive into this game and for a first look, review, slash playthrough. Let's do it. We're going to go to a new game. Now, I have played this for a second, a hot minute. See, as you can see, we got this. We're going to go ahead and choose our avatar. We got all sorts of avatars that we can choose. Let's go ahead and give this guy right here a name. We need to give this guy a name. Let's give him a name. Go call him Drunk. Drunk Part 2. <laughs> if you come across a bug and issue you want to tell us about it. so this game is an early access it has kind of like a uh, a sims slash house flipper kind of feel to it this is my uncle I think or something like that Let's see what he has to say welcome to Wondersville we're currently struggling with a small immigration crisis but all in all it's a great town all right for most for now most of the city remains inaccessible but we'll unlock other districts over time reason for that is because obviously it's an early access ready to dive in click on the slums district and meet me there i'll explain more as we go a slum lord man i can't wait let's see what it what happens now there you are nicely done i've seen folks get lost in this place before anyhow check out your cell phone i left a job for you better take it before someone else does uh-huh i bet let's see what the job is sesame street 6041 uncle steve i need someone to to turn my old trailer into a proper living space let's go ahead and accept it the payment's four thousand bucks we don't have any more job offers that anymore, but we do have that active job. Click to fast forward. Okay, now onto the real thing. Let's take a look at my old camper. My friend Pedro used to live in it, and it might look messy, but I'll bet you'll make it all nice and fancy. Well, you know, you bet it. Let's go ahead and get right here. I guess we can just do this little viewfinder right here, and this is it, man. This is the thing. And as I can, as you can see, it does have kind of like a uh, a Sims a Sims slash. I don't know, house flipper kind of feel. Okay, it's the now to the real thing. Let's take a look at the, my old camper. My friend Pedro used to live in it. May look messy, but I'll bet you'll make it all nice and fancy. We'll see. So, um, first we're going to have to start cleaning. So I'll go ahead and begin cleaning right here. We'll go ahead and just do this. Click, click this up. Wonderful. Clean that up. You need to do this little uh, spot right here. Looks like we need some repairs done as well. Go ahead and repair. 70% chance to restore it. That, I like my chances there. Let's go ahead and do it. What happens if I don't restore it? Ah, uh, nothing. 100% to restore this. What is this thing, anyway? I think it might be like a uh, fridge or something. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Go ahead and clean up over here. Ain't got nothing to stop the two of us if we keep this up. Still plenty to go, though. Include a bunch of damage and broken furniture. Let me know what I should do with it. Let's just fix her all up. Let's plaster up this wall right here. There we go. Beautiful. And last but not least, we'll go ahead and try to restore this right here. This uh, thing. Hopefully it'll work. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Yep, there we go. Oh, that was the last of it. Cool. Now you can end this whole cleaning bonanza by politely pointing me to the front door. Try it. I promise I won't take it personally. All right, let's do it. Let's exit it. See you later. You sure you want to exit the premises? I guess so. Let's do it. Click on the apartment and enter the renovation model and see how to look how it looks from up close okay so we can begin with renovation we only have one room uh utilities heating electricity electricity is operational fifty thousand dollar value the design is awesome all right who wouldn't want to live in a trailer that's <laughs> welcome to the renovation model in this uh in this mode game time will run slower blah 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 got it yeah we can do all this renovation stuff as well okay all right, it looks so much better. Let's take care of the floors. Look at the checklist on the right and pick the appropriate type of floor. You can hover over items to learn more about them. Okay, so we got the floors right here, right? Right? And uh, over here, it's telling us that we need to finish the floors with hardwood. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Hardwood in a, uh, in a trailer. Must be a pretty fancy smancy trailer. We'll go ahead and do that. Uh, hardwood all the way around? Yeah, let's do it. Hardwood in the shower, that's kind of a recipe for uh, for disaster, if you ask me. You ever put water on, on hardwood, after a while it starts to warp and stuff. Exactly, and now we'll see if you can do the walls as well. Don't forget to check the requirements on the right side of the screen. Alright, so the walls. So we got to finish the walls. They want a gray color, okay? Let's go ahead and get uh, the walls right here, and they want a gray color. Blue, blue, gray wallpaper. I guess that will work. Go ahead and do that. Go right there, move over here, get all these walls. Nice little gray wallpaper for our uh, for our trailer. 
Perfect. There, did we miss one? What about this side over here? Can I do it? I don't know if it's going to let me go all the way. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. All right, perfect. Now for the, onto the most interesting part, furn furnishing. Pick whatever piece of furniture you like and place it in the apartment. You can rotate the item. So we got the preferred furniture is DVDs. I didn't realize that DVDs were a furniture, but whatever. But what, what all do we need here? Uh, we need toilet, toilet paper, and TV. All right. Let's see. Furniture. That's the kitchen. That's the dining room. There's the bathroom right there. So we need a toilet. We're going to go ahead and just give them one of these. It's four fifty. dollars Now we'll, we'll give an easy toilet. Uh, that's $199. Let's go a little bit lower. We'll do a, a, a mounted toilet. And we'll put it right, right there. Perfect. And we also need some toilet paper too, right? Got to do the toilet paper because... Uh, because... When the tenants move in, they won't be able to buy it themselves, I guess. I don't know. A microwave and a TV. All right. So we'll just go ahead and do a microwave. Do I need to put maybe, a, I don't know, like some sort of a, of a counter or something? A blank kitchen countertop. Let's check it out here. We can put one right there, I think. Let's see if we can do it. Will it go in there? It won't. How do we, uh, how do we rotate the item? Z and C, okay. There we go. We'll rotate this item. We'll stick this right here. Perfect. Just like that. And we'll put a... Where is it? Microwave. 169, 100. We'll do the easy microwave. And we'll stick that right there. And maybe put it right there. Boom. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now what else do we need? A TV. And the preferred furniture is DVD. So let's go into the living room, I guess. It's a dining room. The bathroom. The bedroom office living room right here all right so we got a uh crt tv one of those big things those are heavy as hell man i don't even know do they even sell those anymore no i was growing up man this is it, it was tough that's a narrow one we don't want to do that we'll go ahead and grab this is, or is this a tv a coffee table a candy coffee table for right here and let's uh put it right there i guess kind of rinky dinky but whatever now let's grab this tv and we'll move this right there right in front so there we go it looks awesome and then we just need the dvds where are the dvds right here dvd collection is 30 bucks trilogy dvd set we'll go ahead and give them a tv uh we'll stick this right here boom perfect we got it awesome it looks pretty nice now head over to finalize tab and click on the deliver job all right let's just deliver this bad boy right here i guess huh finalize deliver job boom whoever's gonna live there is gonna be loving it now you finish your first official job, I'll let you in on a secret. Your aunt and my dear wife left you this unit. I think it's a perfect opportunity to get your landlord career started. But the apartment will require some upfront work before we can rent it out. Perfect. All right. So let's go ahead and click on it, I guess. Right? We need to connect to electricity. We have $4,500. Connecting the electricity is 4000 bucks. Can't renovate with all without all utilities in place. All right. So we need to go ahead and install that, I guess. Now we're down to 500 can't renovate with, without all the utilities. Begin an open house. No more free bedrooms. All right. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Great. We got electricity. Now you have to take some more jobs to save up for installing the heating and for some renovation work. All right. Perfect. Looks like you're ready to start working on other people's projects now. The jobs app on your phone now features simple renovation jobs for you to pick up. Perfect. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. These are the jobs we have. Uh, this is on Sycamore Circle. I'm looking for a designer who can build me a new bathroom requirements, create a new bathroom budget, finishing guidelines. Our focus is on walls and required furniture. Don't mind preferred furniture. All right. So that's for a payment of $2,100. I also have one right here. I have a, need a nice kitchen with some space to eat. Waiting for offers, requirements, create a new kitchen. Budget is $5,650. Floors and first impressions. $1,900 is a payment. So this is going to be our highest one right here. I guess it's going to go highest to lowest, right? Maybe, maybe not. Looking for a chap to build me a new bathroom at the lowest cost possible. Create a new bathroom. Budget is $1,800. We'll pay extra if the job is done in five days. The uh, focus is going to be floors and decor. Don't mind first impression. I don't know what that, that means. I mean, like they want us to do it or they don't mind. We'll go ahead and accept this one first. That's going to... That, that's our job. All right. And we'll... Uh, is in progress. I guess I can come over. Where do I go over? Our reviews. Uncle Steve gave us a, a good review. He said, uh, 
plus side, three stars. Preferred furniture was five stars. The walls were just a four star. I don't know. Decor was nothing. Total was $4,000. So that's our first thing. Now, what do we do? Oh, yeah, right here. Right here. This will be the next thing we do. We don't need that. Let's go ahead and find out where Sycamore Circle is. It's right over here. Perfect. Let's go in here and begin the renovation. Now, what do we need to do? Decor. When performing renovation jobs, you have to focus on different rating categories to score five stars. Uh, decor category might be the trickiest to get right. The reviewer will rate decor based on the amount of money you spend on decor items. Every type of room has a separate list of items that affect the score. To achieve a high decor rating, check out the room info window to see what types of items are taken into consideration in a given room type. Let's see. Let's see. Room type is kitchen. Room size. Prestige is A, two doors. High rim uh, decor store will be a wall plant, small plant, big plant, blah, 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 low. And then high, only one count, splendor, and a toaster. Okay, let's do this. All right, so we need to do a uh, bathroom or shower cabin. That's what they want first. Let's, uh, how do we do this? We're right here. Let's just do the stone or tile floors first. That's tile right there. That's stone. That's 45 versus 35. Uh, we'll go ahead and just give them stone first, okay? So we got that. We want to finish the walls with yellow or red. Come right here. Yellow or red. Dark red requirements. That's 45, and that is 30. I could actually just do this right here. Let's go ahead and do, you know what? Not a yellow. I think yellow walls will be better for the bathroom. Cruise over here. And add some janky uh, controls a little bit, but we'll get there. There we go. Perfect. Toilet paper, toilet brush. We need a bathtub or a shower cabin. So uh, next thing we want to do is come over here, go to the bathroom. Right here, required item. Can be placed in front. Deserve a place to wind down after a long day. Could do this. What is my uh, budget now? It's 4400 80. We could actually do something big for this, right? We could do a, maybe a, a bathtub right here, right? See, there's the, uh, put the bathroom. Hmm. Where do we want to put the bathroom? That's the question. I say we uh, put it over here against the, against the wall. That would make sense, right? I mean, seems like every, every place I've ever rented from has done it like this. Perfect. There we go. So we got that. We need a bathroom sink, a toilet brush, toilet paper, and a toilet. Okay. So let's see. We'll go with a sink as well. We have a 3481. A giant sink. Put that right. Maybe right here. Yeah, we'll do it right here. There we go. Got 2832 left in our budget. We still need a toilet. Wrong room type. What did I just do? All right, so I got this done. I had to figure it out. What is this air piece of furniture required? Something is blocking its path to this. Okay, so that's all right. We'll just go ahead and move this over. It took me a second to kind of figure out why this was the way it was. I think that's it right there. What is it saying now? Piece of furniture required. Something is blocking the path of this item. Might be this right here. Let's go ahead and move this and uh, maybe we'll uh, we'll uh, put that right there. That should be fine right there. Yeah, there we go. Now, we, now we're cooking with gas. Let's go ahead and grab this uh, toilet paper. If you press this right here, let's go ahead and grab one of these and we will stick this right next to it. You always want the toilet paper to be real handy, really close to everything. So we got the toilet, we got the toilet brush, we got the toilet paper. Floors and bathrooms, and we still got $2,600 to do. We preferred furniture. Plus, sometimes this is not required, but will increase your overall job rating. So we need a wall clock and a wall plant. So let's go ahead and look for a plant here. Uh, fern. Bigger plants are a bit more difficult to care for, but they add so much style. We also do a plastic plant if we want, or a rubber plant. Rubber, bigger plants are, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're saying the same thing. Uh, fern. A big fern for 35 buckaroos. We'll go ahead and stick that, I don't know, maybe right here. Hmm. Maybe I'll do it right. Where'd it go? Can't do it right there. I can stick it right here if I wanted to, I think. 
It's kind of a weird place to be putting it, though. Let's go look for a wall clock instead. Ah, you can scroll down. This makes sense now. Let's go ahead and do a simple wall clock, and we'll stick that right... Maybe right there. Boom. All right, so we got everything done. We got our bathtub or shower cabin, bathroom sink. We got the toilet, toilet brush, toilet paper. We finished the floors, did the stoner tile, finished the walls yellow or red. And uh, we are ready to rock and roll. Uh, let's see, what can we do now? We can, uh, I don't think we need to add a door. I think we can just come right here. In progress, we should be able to uh, do something, right? Yeah, let's finalize it. We'll deliver the job right now. Boom. And we're going to wait for the new client review and see what happens. $2,500. And three, she's looking at it. She's liking the uh, plants. She's happy. Looking at the uh, expensive, expensive uh, sink. She's happy. Oh, she's in love. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. She's writing a review right now. We need to see what, what happens here. We're at level one right now. New items are unlocked. Perfect. Earn experience by completing jobs, purchasing apartments, signing agreements with tenants to level up and unlock uh, new items. Perfect. We got all sorts of stuff right here. What is this right here? A wall coat rack, a workshop concrete, ocean blue, ocean. We got red. We have a faded yellow for wallpaper as well as an ocean accordion door. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's see what the review says. It might not show at first glance, but drunk actually knows how to renovate. It's okay. It's okay. Four stars. What are you talking about? It's okay. I gave you all the preferred furniture. The decor was great. She didn't really, wasn't really crazy about the walls. She gave me a fours out of five. We need a five star review, not a four star review, but that's all right. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with that. And we're at level three now. So as you can see, we start to build up stuff as we go. And, uh, yeah. All right, guys. Well, I think we're done here. Um, this, this game is called the tenants. It's, um, made by ancient forge it seems like it plays like an it didn't play like an early access game to be honest uh they're planning on opening up more than just the slums as the uh time goes on it's 1999 there's a link in the description below uh this is our first look what do you guys think you let me know in the uh comments below and uh, if you like the game go ahead and support these guys uh seems like it'll be a good game if this is your thing at any rate i will see you guys on the flizz i fall shizzle bye bye y'all